Hello, my name's Mark. Welcome to Living La Dolce Vida. Well, good morning everybody and uh, welcome back to my channel, Living La Dolce Vita. Uh, on a rather damp and a little bit chilly uh, Sunday. So hopefully this will be a fairly short film. <coughs> so uh, yes, what have we been up to down the plot? One job I've been trying to do for absolutely ages is to, <laughs> and that's all it is, is four screws. How can it take four months or maybe more to fit this simple device to hold it open? <laughs> Anyway, there we are. That's another job done. So I'm not quite sure where I left you on the last one. Uh, we'll have a quick look now as I'm going back to the house. Anyway, um, we'll get a bit closer shortly. But anyway, I've sort of established a couple of beds. Rudimentary at the moment because obviously uh, all the soil on the edge is a bit loose and it's going to take time for that to, you know, firm up. And um, I think in the last room you, you saw me digging it out. So I've leveled it off with the wolf tool. But I'm going to use this uh, slab here and I work my way up, put it against the side, and uh, level it off to the to the paving slab. It's not perfect yet, but um, it'll. Hopefully, as long as it doesn't walk on the edge, it should be okay. It'll, it'll firm up eventually. And I've also then planted rye and uh, red clover in both. And the variety is... Um, I don't know if you can see from this... I don't know if you can see from this angle. But the, the late flowering red clover, Rosette, Rosetta, oh, I'd imagine that is. And the rye grass is, let's see, where's the label for that? Forage rye, sea kale, sea, uh, ele, oh gosh, Elego, Elego, <laughs> organic, whatever that is. Anyway, so those are the two. See, uh, seeds I've put in. Uh, yeah, it's look, still looking a bit of a, like a bomb site. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to get round to putting a poly tunnel up this year. It may have to wait till next year now uh, because I want to try and get this bottom part more established. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see anyway. But as you can see, I've started putting all the hedge clippings that I generated uh, either last year or the year before started filling up the trench there I'll do a similar thing on this small trench here eventually and maybe on this trench here as well uh, this has got to be widened, this trench is going to be widened yet so all I need I was going to do it today but um, it's a bit wet and uh, bit mucky underfoot so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it till I get a, a dry spell for a few days and hopefully sunny as well and then that time all these weeds will have obviously started growing and I'm just going to spray the lot with weed killer and cut down most of this grass and come free here as, as close as I can and then I shall spray that with weed killer try and clean it all off so I don't know if you can see, probably see uh, from the green manure here it's coming up nicely now <laughs> it's amazing you can just, just make out a, a little track between the two sections and I thought I'd covered it with seed but there we are so I'm now doing a, a slightly small section simply because uh, of the cages that I've got of that particular size so I should have another one Two and a bit to go. Uh, plenty of time, really, because obviously these will come up now within the next fortnight or so. 
and we're only still in April so I say there's plenty of time to, to finish that off for the year uh, and I've also put some rye grass in this section um, there was a reason <laughs> uh, I think maybe to collect the seed but to be honest um, I'll let this section go to seed as well so uh, yeah oh now the, what I want to mention about the red clover it's a uh, perennial so uh, it'll just keep growing so, so to terminate it I have either got to dig it in or spray with a weed killer uh, and it's probably going to be a weed killer because I, obviously I can't dig this otherwise the edge of the border will collapse in so or I could probably kill it with plastic that might kill it off we'll see um, but it's just a one-off to get the fertility into the soil and after that then I can I can put other fertility methods by either broad beans or something like that or other, some sort of legume right so I think I've made a decision on this piece here uh, once it's all, all this debris is cleared away um, I think I will grass it over uh, by some by some turf I expect just cover it all over and then just cut enough space around each bush to put wood chips down to suppress the weeds yeah I think that might be a nice uh, I've got potatoes coming up and raw beans <laughs> Yes, now that potato that's coming up there, I'm not quite sure if it's the one I planted or whether it's a leftover from last year. Um, I suspect it's a leftover because I would have th thought the others would have been up by now. Well, uh, yeah, those are up. And they're not much in the ridge, which is bizarre. So I thought I was quite fussy with that. Anyway, not to worry. So as you can see, my asparagus is starting to come up. Now, I'm not quite sure why, but this particular asparagus crown has come up really quick and fast. Can it be quick and fast? Mm. I'm not sure why, but uh, this um, asparagus crown is shot up and yet the rest although they are coming starting to come through because you can see the soil breaking as they're pushing up but um, yes they, <laughs> they're way behind anyway Last but not least, my onions are starting to uh, come up and um, I'm going to give them another few days and then I shall take off the uh, this netting. Okay, so I think we'll call it a day on that particular film, so in this particular film, so um, right, so uh, I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.